Hi everyone, The Mature Simmer here. Welcome to this how-to episode where I'm going to show you how to take an auto drive network that someone else has created and incorporate it into your save game so that you can utilize it. I'm going to use Kalmsden Farm, a popular map, one for which an auto drive network has been published on some of the sites. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you're doing this and you're planning on using an auto drive network is you need to have auto drive loaded because basically it needs to create the save file that you can replace. It's not entirely necessary that it do it, but then it's a lot easier for you to make sure that you're naming things correctly. You don't necessarily need to generate a route network, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Or, but that way you know that there's some data points placed into the auto drive network. For those who might not remember how to run auto drive, you need to get in a vehicle and you can use Alt-0. So this just verifies that we have auto drive loaded if you're unsure. So at this point what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a save game. So if you're doing this immediately and you don't play and leave auto save on and have it save, just go ahead and make sure you go here and hit save game. That will generate the things in the directory appropriately so that you have what you need to replace the auto drive network with the version that you've downloaded. Once you've saved your game, go ahead and quit from the game. Okay, so the next thing you will need to do is make sure that you've downloaded the auto drive file that you want to work with. I'm going to include a link to this auto drive file so that if you want to recreate these steps and try it for yourself with Calmsden Farms, you'll know where to find this file. So you'll go to where you've downloaded it. In this case, I've put this in an auto drive test directory under my downloads directory. And unlike a normal mod for FS22, you're going to want to extract this. So you can just use the default and in most cases then it will extract to a folder with the same name and it's going to provide you with a autodriveconfig.xml file. Okay, so this is the step that may take a little bit of work and may confuse a lot of people who don't normally work around their file system within their computer. You need to know where your file is saved, where your save game for farming simulator is saved. By default on most Windows systems, this will be under your documents directory, my games, farming simulator 2022, and then you're going to have save games 1 through 20. In this case, I know that I started up the game in save game slot 8, but I can also look at the date of the files and know that this is very close to the date and time that I'm working with in real time, so that since I just did this, this also gives me an indicator that I'm looking in the right location. You'll notice I have an auto drive config.xml. It is important that you also have some auto drive users data. These things are created when you save your game, which is why it's important that you save your game. You'll notice the default size is 7 kilobytes, but this network that is a fully configured auto drive network is much larger. It's 149 kilobytes. So I'm going to use control C and then move here and then do control V to paste and I'm going to replace the file in the destination and now I see it went from 7 kilobytes to 149 kilobytes. At this point go ahead and fire up your game and open up your slot in save game 8 in my case or whatever slot you've saved your game in. So here I am back in farming simulator 2022 and my game save 8 here, which was saved today, is here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And all I have loaded right now is Auto Drive and Calmsden Farms as the mods that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. That's all I need. So we'll go ahead and let that load up. And this will load the same as uh, any game you've loaded, even though you've made a change on the files on the back end. So we'll hit start here. And then once again, we'll hop into a vehicle. But what you'll see immediately is I, I, I have a target point. Now if I pull down a list here, I've got fields 1 through 12. And again, the creator here, um, I'm assuming was German, just given the, the words that we have here. So you can see I've got fields 20, 13 through 24, fields 23 through 36. I'm going to go ahead and back out here. 
And I'm also going to go ahead, I'll, I'll close, uh, close this down, Oops. and I'll put on the edit mode, which will then allow us to see the network. And so you can see we've got a network um, across the map here. Now in this case, once again, um, you can go ahead and use AutoDrive to make edits to labels and so forth if you'd like. I need to open the gate, so I apologize for that. But yes, AutoDrive will not allow you to move through roads inappropriately and, and locations but we'll go ahead and we'll pull up north here and you'll see you know they've they've got positions inside the silo they've got other other items there but if I go to the map we are here on this area of the road and let's take a look let's say we want to drive to um, Let's say we want to drive to field 18. Okay, so that way we know it's field 18. We'll pick that and then we'll hit this button to drive. And you can see the tractor will begin moving and it will use the pre-configured auto drive network that they've set up. And of course you're going to have these issues on a map like this so you'll have to take a look at that where obviously again um, you can't drive through fences so you're gonna have to be cognizant as you go around but what most people will tend to do in these cases is they'll go around the map the first couple times and they'll just open up all the gates around the map and then you won't have this problem so I'll kinda give myself a view there so I can see in case I have another one coming up that I don't have the same problem and then you just simply would stop your tractor from moving before that so it's possible when we leave here that we're gonna have another fence or a gate that we're gonna have to deal with so in that case obviously you want to take control of your tractor if that happens again alright we don't have one and it will obviously go in the best route it can so now we've gone from a two-way auto drive route to a single way auto drive route we can see that because it's gone from blue to green so two-way auto drive routes are blue single direction auto drive routes are green so around this circle they appear to just go in one direction and I have not tested this network in any way but yeah I see okay it goes the one direction the other way so that should work so there's a possibility that sometimes you'll download a network that does still need some editing so you'll obviously have to keep track of that but you can see V Garden Center is marked and then Calc Station which is the Lime Station is marked but once again if you were going there you'd have to open that gate so that you could appropriately get into that location and we should be probably getting close to field 18 but you can see the benefit here of you did not need to create this network and so lots of people want to know how do I load a auto drive network that someone else has created so we're getting close here. We'll let this thing drive us to field 18 and then we'll wrap things up. Uh, but just want to get you the feel for, you know, the kind of structure that you might see uh, when people create these things on the fly. And again, we're on a two way road or a two way auto drive network here because it's blue. Uh, we'll go down where we can see a little bit better and it's just less of looking at trees and we'll be we're heading between obviously 2019 and 22 
And so you can see there's, you know, the point for tw field 22, but once again there was a closed gate. We may end up having a similar problem here in field 18, and I did intentionally pick something that I knew would take a little bit of effort to get to, because it's also a good way to quickly test the quality of the network that someone created um, by seeing what they did um, and, and how the how things respond. Um, so let me back up here because this won't be a fault of the network uh, because I think if it would have turned appropriately but I think it was flush with the fence there because of um, the fence being closed. So yeah, here it made a, a good turn and it fit in the uh, in the fence there. And hopefully at this point, I believe that point that's coming up on the mini-map right in front of us is field 18. And so that will take us there. And it will then tell us that we have arrived. So you can see field 18. There is no fence, and it will take us there, and then it will stop. And obviously, once again, you know, um, we do have crop destruction on. It's possible. All right, it did stop shy of the field. So there you go. So you can see we've got a network that worked. Um, so aside from the fields, uh, once again, I don't speak uh, German, so I don't know offhand exactly what some of these are. But again, the calc station is Lyme. BGA is obviously the BGA, uh, some kind of a handler, another handler, and then you've got different silos, the Flustunger, we know we saw when we were leaving, and then I believe these are the cell points. So you'd have them on the map, but once again, the easiest way, if you know you want to go somewhere, is just to go to your map and say, you know, I want to go there, and so you can see that's Z Hofladen Balin, and you know you could then go ahead and select that, and um, you know, and just make sure that you select that, and then it, it will go there. And so you can see it works, you know, pretty well, and then you don't need to really do much to keep this working but this will give you a way to save a lot of time by taking advantage of using someone else's auto drive network so if you wanted to know how to import and incorporate a saved auto drive network in your system hopefully this gives you the steps you need to do so as a quick review again you need to pick your map save the game to create the save game folder with the appropriate files. You need to download the auto drive file from wherever you found it. You need to get the XML and make sure it's called autodriveconfig.xml. Just make sure it's named the same as what's created in the save game. Replace that with the one you've downloaded and then load up your game and utilize the new auto drive network and, and give it a spin and test it out and make sure you're happy with it. Hopefully that's helpful for you. As always, please subscribe to the channel to get more information like this. And also, you know, like this video to share it. Please comment if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to help you out. I'll see you next time.